In this video, we're going to quickly derive figure 13.6 in Just Hewitt and Smith. We start with a simple uh, situation where we've got a marginal private cost curve and a demand curve. Uh, the competitive equilibrium would be at the yellow point indicated there, uh, or the uh, quantity QE. Uh, if there's an externality, then the optimum will not occur at the competitive equilibrium. It would be at Q1, where the marginal social cost is equal to the marginal private cost. Uh, and, However, if you've got a uh, monopoly making choices, they're not going to set their prices at or quantity choices at where marginal cost is equal to the demand curve. Rather, they're going to look at the marginal revenue curve uh, and choose their quantity at that by based on that purple point where marginal private cost is equal to marginal revenue at the quantity QM and then set the price at the orange dot um, uh, indicated above. Uh, the point here is that you'll see that in this case the monopoly's uh, quantity is actually pretty close to the socially optimal quantity Q1 uh, and in fact, if we correct the externality by adding a tax, we're going to make things worse. So in this case, we're going to uh, include a uh, Pigouvian tax T that's going to move the demand curve perceived by the uh, monopolist to the red uh, lower demand curve D minus T, and they're going to then choice set their quantity at the where the marginal revenue curve uh, is equal to the their marginal private cost. Um, at the yellow dot, prices are going to be up above at the red dot. So you'll see that the uh, quantity has moved further away from the social optimal quantity Q1 that was achieved um, uh, that would have uh, be the socially optimal quantity. So the bottom line is that the social optimal quantity is the green dot. Uh, the monopolist favor with um, uh, monopolist choice without any market correction is the orange dot, which is pretty close in this case to the uh, socially optimal level. But after we correct for it, we actually move further away from the socially optimal level. So the bottom line is that in this case, a uh, a market correction or a, by including a Peruvian tax, we actually make things worse. And that's the theory of the second best. When you have more than one uh, market imperfection, uh, you Correcting one of those market imperfections will not necessarily lead to an improvement in social welfare.